one day in a in a car like this, okay. right, with Rakesh uh, Jhunjhunwala, right? right? Uh, RJ is sitting on this side, yeah. and so I'm sitting where you are sitting, yeah. and uh, and and he's <laughs> and he's smoking. Yeah. The the windows are up. Yeah. Uh, and we're just driving around the place. Yeah. We had some time to kill. He said, "Ki, to drive pe chalna hai." So I said, "Sure." And, and this is in Delhi, Gurgaon. No, this is in Bombay, uh, Bombay in Bandra okay. Kurla complex. We're just yeah. driving around. Yeah. And he looks at me and he says, "Do you know what's the difference between an entrepreneur and a manager?" Mm-hmm. And of course, knowing RJ, you don't answer his question because he will answer his own question very quickly. <laughs> right. And he looks at me and he says that, you know, an um, entrepreneur is somebody. who risks losing everything right. right as a manager you can lose your job yes which is difficult and hard yeah. but you can try to find another job as sure. an entrepreneur and that is why i have so much respect for entrepreneurs that i've known or have worked for um, or i work with you know that 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 belief or that yeah. ability to risk everything did you know mr chinjanwala before uh, of course being uh, asked by him? of course you must have known him uh, well, my I question know. is that well that uh, you decided to sort of you know after indigo decided to co-found the company uh, akasa with so, uh, him so rj i i got to know as part of the indigo ipo okay okay and uh, to cut a long story short uh, The first time I met him uh, was in his office, and I was trying to sell him the idea of the Indigo IPO, and and sort of you know convince him to come in as an anchor investor in our in our anchor book. Yeah, this was. This was in 2015. 2015. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I met him for two hours. Okay. In the first hour, he just went at me, like uh-huh. he just went at me. Say what kind of crappy bullshit airline you've got, and this and that, and you don't give ketchup with the samosas, and like you know, like he just went at me. He was like at at it. Right. This is the first time I'm meeting Rakesh Chandrawala. Yeah. So the first half, I'd say twenty minutes, yeah. I was respectful, and I was like you know this thing. Yeah. Now after the first twenty minutes, I thought, look, you know, this game is over. So yeah. w- w- what am I doing? So I'm I began to then co- fight back. Fight back. Right? Uh huh. And What then is we that like because uh, no one in sees so, that so, before. So so the rest of the room is quiet. Yeah. There are yeah. seven eight other people in the room. They're yeah. just watching, and I as this little kid virtually, yeah. Yeah. right, just arguing back. And, yeah. And you know he would say something and I would, he would have a matter of opinion and I would give him a state a statement of fact and then right. this is going on. Yeah. An hour in. Yeah. Right. Like so, no, there's nothing to lose. Yeah. हो गया मतलब the game is over. Yeah. An hour into that meeting, he suddenly switches. Yeah. And he says, "Yeah, what airline did you make?" So what? <laughs> I would have, I would have loved to be and, a fly on and, the wall in that room. And he says, "You know, this is a fantastic investment. Like yeah. when my daughter gets married, that's when I will sell, and this and that." And yeah. And for the next one hour, he was the champion. And and that's how I originally met him. Yeah. And so obviously, you know, as my in my days as the president of Indigo, and then after that we stayed in touch. And and his team, Utpal Bhai, Ushma, mm. uh, uh, Amit, uh, they're just Vishal. They're just a phenomenal team. I got to know them. And then during the Akasa days, uh, yeah. when the, at the beginning of Akasa, Vinay had already reached out to to RJ. RJ reached out to me. You know, we just kind of all came together. So very very deeply grateful. Um, he was just a, a you know lovely person.